What's up guys, James here from Boot Wizard Boot Reviews and today we've got something very special, yet another Boot Wizard first. It did take a little bit of effort, I had to run from work to Unisport and then get home as fast as I possibly could and I am recording this for you right now so that we get a very quick, very early first look at the New Balance Furon V6. For anyone that doesn't know, we'll give you a little bit of a catch up. The New Balance Furon is New Balance's speed boot, this being the Furon V5, and it's been through a little bit of an evolution over time purely because it started out as a horrible boot and in the V5 came up as a pretty decent speed boot, but maybe not something you would consider buying over a Vapor or an X or something like that. New Balance are looking to change all of that with this Furon V6. So today we're going to unbox these, we're going to do some first impressions and then tomorrow I am going to test the living hell out of these so we can bring you a review ASAP and we can work out if they really have succeeded. So if you want the full review, make sure you get subscribed. Remember to like this video and let's jump straight into this unboxing. So aside from pictures and a very brief time in the Unisport store, this is the first time I've had these out of the box and in my hands. So it's a genuine first impression. I literally got to the Unisport store as they were closing. I, I apologize to everybody who works there for potentially delaying them getting out so that I could get these Furons. So I said earlier that this was New Balance's speed boot line, the Furon, and looking at this firsthand, this certainly looks like a speed boot. Low cut, slim profile, even the New Balance logo looks fast and aggressive. On the whole, as far as an aggressive looking speed boot goes, I definitely think they've got this nailed. of speed boot vibes when you say speed boot you obviously think mercurial and this new balance logo certainly has more than a little hint of that toe swoosh that you do find on ronaldo's mercurials like if we check them out that kind of fast inspired design that runs down the side of the boot definitely has more than a hint of mercurial about it now i wouldn't say it's copied at all but it certainly lends itself again to a speed boot look, which is a great thing for this boot. Another similarity that we can draw with the Mercurial now, and we will get into this more in the full review, so get subscribed for that, is the fact that this particular upper is now knit. So if I bring this up close to the camera, you can see that this is New Balance's Fit Weave technology and this coating down the bottom here is a protective layer. Reminds me quite a lot of how that Puma Future 5.1 had exposed Evo knit up the top and then a coating for texture. This is exactly the same theory, although the Evo knit on that and the Fit Weave on this are two very different things. Talking pure colorway and appearance, I really like the way that this looks. This bright crimson that kind of is faded out into by this darker purple, almost maroon color that runs through the rest of the boot with some metallic silver accents. It's a really nice combination. And then the patterning on the inside here is definitely a little bit reminiscent of what you'd have found 
on the Hypervenom Phantom 3, and it even has that kind of texture to it. The difference being that those Hypervenom Phantom 3 bumps are definitely more pronounced and not quite as soft or built into the boot as you're going to get from this Furon, which definitely again maintains speed boot vibes. The boot is almost 100% knit, including this central section to make it a one-piece upper with some little cutouts or perforations in order to give you a little bit more stretch when getting the boots on. And then also this collar here. Again, doesn't do much, just there for the sake of looks, but it does look pretty cool. Then the only bit that's not knit is this back section here, which is made out of a synthetic. It's a lot harder and it's definitely gonna give you better lockdown on the boot. And then you get this little taping that runs up the back just to cover off the seam. It's got a pattern in it, which I have no idea what the reason is. It's just a pretty pattern. There's definitely a seam where the two types of material meet and they do run up into this extra lacing position right at the top here that isn't directly into the knit but it does give you an extra lace hole which should give you some really good opportunities to get maybe a runner's loop in there and lock your foot right into the heel and then as you follow that seam back down you can see that that textured protective coating then runs and goes back up into the top of the heel so it's kind of a big swoosh ironically that runs from the bottom up to the top and then that as we spin it round brings us to the sole plate so i've made a lot of comparisons to nike boots so far particularly the vapors but looking at this sole plate i definitely get some serious x vibes so this is my x19.1 and look at those sole plates. They are incredibly similar. A chevron shaped studs within the same layout, even the overall shaping of it with the two distinct areas really does shout Adidas X sole plate at me a lot. And you know what? If you're gonna start borrowing from two of the biggest speed boots on the market, you might as well be borrowing from the X sole plate and the Vapor Upper. Absolutely why not? The front portion of the sole plate is a wearable finish, so this delightful purple color is definitely going to come off as you start to use the boots. And one more thing you might have noticed, there was no string bag with these boots, fair enough. There's not always from New Balance, but you also don't get the second set of insoles anymore, which you sometimes got with top end New Balance boots. And there we have it, our first look and unboxing at the New Balance Furon V6. And I have to say, so far I am very impressed, not only with the general look of the boot, but also the initial feelings, how soft this upper is, the texture, all things we're gonna cover in that full tech spec review, which is coming, get subscribed. This is very impressive so far, and I cannot wait to give them a good testing. The only, only minor criticism that I do have is that I really wish these had released in the Mane collar, which he's been wearing for being African player of the year, which has a gold section in the heel and the New Balance logo is also gold. It has some Mane detailing on the back too, and I would have loved to have seen those released even in limited quantities because that gold New Balance really looks the part. That's all from Boot Wizard here today. Get subscribed to pick up the full review. Remember to like this video for more of this kind of stuff and comment down below your first thoughts on the New Balance Furon V6. Well, that's all from Boot Wizard here today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one and we'll see you soon.